Well, I've mentioned the fun the girls have had this week, sightseeing, shopping, and exploring. Now, here's a short film of their spare time adventures in Greece. All the contestants arrived in Athens ten days ago. They got a warm welcome from the citizens of Athens and from dozens of photographers from all over the world. And obviously, the girls enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> The first place everyone wanted to visit was the Acropolis, the historic hill on which the most famous monuments in Greek history are located. There's the Propylia, built more than 2,400 years ago, and the Parthenon, probably the world's most famous ancient temple. The Erechtheum, elegant temple of white marble. One day, the girls walked through the placa with its colorful shops on tiny, winding streets. Everyone was looking for souvenirs to take home, of course, and the merchants were delighted to show their wares. In fact, everywhere they went, the girls were greeted by very friendly people. Some of the girls had time to tour Athens' beautiful churches, which really are works of art in themselves, and there were frequent stops at the Parapetira. Oh, well, that's the best I can do. Little corner booths that sell just about everything. Constitution Square is a beautiful open co courtyard in the center of downtown Athens with lovely fountains and flowers, and just across the street from the square is the Parliament Building. Unfortunately, the inscriptions proved unreadable to everyone but Miss Grease, and the guard couldn't help because he's not permitted to speak while he's on the job. One of the week's highlights is a trip to the beautiful harbor of Carillas, where you can see everything from rowboats to ocean liners. The contestants lunched on local specialties like fried squid, and most of them were at least willing to try it. Then one evening they were invited to a local festival where they enjoyed some Greek music and even learned some of the folk dances of the country, and that's fun. It was just one more pleasant memory of their happy, exciting visit to Greece. And now let's visit a place of natural beauty with liquid prill. take a few moments to meet our 12 semi-finalists and have a little chat with them, beginning with Miss India here, whose name is Farzana Habib. Yes. That's correct. Right. And where do you live? Uh, in New Delhi. And Farzana, speak up good and loud now so everyone can hear you. And tell me, was it quite a thrill to hear your name called first? Oh, yes. It was a big surprise. It was a big yes. surprise, but it was awfully nice to get it all over with so quickly, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> what, what do you do back in India, Farzana? Uh, well, uh, I was lecturing in a college. And at the same time, I've been painting. What sort of painting do you do? Mostly portraits. And what would you like to do in the future? Uh, in the future, in the next five years, I think uh, I'd be terribly satisfied if I do something really worthwhile in art. Well, I think that would be very nice. Now, the girls tell me that you have been reading their palms, that you read palms. Is that right? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I think that our Greek audience would probably be interested in having you read my palm. Would you do that and show them how you do it? Okay, Paul. All right. Have a look. Well, do you want the truth and nothing but the truth? <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure this is the best idea I ever had. Yes, I want the truth. Um, you've got a very long life, Bob. No worry at all. I don't think you'll be satisfied with one life, so you might be having about seven lives. And, uh, <laughs> well, uh, you've worked very hard. You don't have much of a fate line, but you've come up because of your hard work, perseverance, and uh, you're a famous person, that's obvious, of course. And now let's come down to your affairs, shall we? My what? The most interesting part of your life, yes. your affairs. My affairs? Yes. Yes, that's, and that's what I... <laughs> Thank you, Miss India. Thank you very much. 